Screenwriters often work with technical consultants in the creation of an original screenplay for production in movies or television. Jonathan Nolan graduated from Georgetown University. Mr. Nolan has collaborated with his brother, Christopher Nolan, on five movie screenplays, including Memento and The Dark Knight. Kip Thorne graduated from Caltech and earned his PhD from Princeton University. Mr. Thorne served as a professor at Caltech for over 40 years and was an executive producer for the movie Interstellar. Hi, I'm Jonathan Nolan. I'm the screenwriter of Interstellar. And I'm Kip Thorne. Uh, I'm a theoretical physicist and executive producer on Interstellar. And here's a scene from the film. We used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. Now we just look down and worry about our place in the dirt. First off, I'm so excited to talk to you guys here at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Um, Jonathan, you are the screenwriter of Interstellar, and Kip, you are a physicist. You both collaborated together for the movie Interstellar. Can you tell me about that process? Yeah, it was great. It was a great process. I came to the project after Kip. Most movies that deal with science, the screenwriter writes something and then they ask a scientist to come in and kind of bless it. Here, I was working from the beginning for Kip, with Kip, with Kip, trying to pull the story out of real science. You know, truth is always stranger than fiction and the reality of our universe is there are an awful lot of things out there that are very alien to the human experience. We tried to capture some of that in this story. A little late, Coop. Yeah, we had a flat. It's an Indian surveillance drone. Solar cells power an entire farm. I had a dream of a film in which the science was embedded deeply from the outset right into the fabric of the film in a way that would be so compelling and so enticing, particularly for young people, that they would become interested in science because of the film. And I think we succeeded. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to give it something socially responsible to do. Can't we just let it go? This thing needs to learn how to adapt, Murph. Uh, gang, let's mask up. Like the rest of us. I can't believe that you actually would say that a lot of screenwriters write the script before consulting with the actual expert because I wouldn't know how to even start a script like that. I feel like you would have to consult with someone first before you write a script. Well, listen, there are a lot of writers who will make an effort to reach out to a scientist, but you know, when you get your paycheck from the studio, there's no requirement that you reach out and try to get the science right. There's so much pressure on all of us to try to tell a compelling and engaging story. It's not often that you have the privilege of working on a project where from the jump you're working with such an esteemed scientist trying to really let the story emerge from that rather than coming up with a story and then sort of fiddling with a few things later on down the line just to make it fit. You're a well-educated man, Coop, and a trained pilot. And an engineer. The world doesn't need any more engineers. We didn't run out of planes and television sets. We ran out of food. What advice do you have for any young aspiring screenwriters? <laughs> um, go for it. You know, we did. We didn't know anybody out here. We just started writing and followed our dreams out here and it worked out okay. And Kip, do you think there are any other personal qualities or characteristics that you think teens need if they want to succeed as a physicist? Well, I think they need to be enthusiastic about science. That's the biggest thing, to just love it. And then be willing to do all of the very hard work that's required to make the dream come true. Our greatest accomplishments cannot be behind us because our destiny lies above us.